Hey guys, I'm Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a full face of Ulta Beauty products. My really good friend, her name is Kimmy, she said, Vanessa, I, a lot of people have been asking to see Ulta Beauty products. I think you should do the video. So I was like, oh, that's such a great idea. I totally agree. And she actually sent me a Ulta gift card for Christmas. I just love her so much. She's beautiful and she's so giving and I just love her and the doggies and her husband seems really nice. Um, we live really, really far apart from one another, but we talk every day. She's become like my best friend. Uh, we know each other really well at this point and we met because of YouTube. Her name is Kimberly McDowell. You'll see her. She comments on pretty well every one of my videos. And I just, I appreciate her so much. I appreciate all of you guys who watch my videos, who comment. And uh, Kimmy and I have just developed a really special friendship. So the gift card that she gave me for Christmas, I picked up several products for a full face. We've got a palette that's actually a full face palette. It has eyeshadows and blushes, bronzers, highlights. Our foundation foundation powder we've got concealer setting powder let's see a lippy a eyebrow pencil and mascara literally this is a complete full face of Ulta Beauty the one and only product that I used that wasn't from Ulta were my eyelashes and so yeah let's go ahead and get into this so you guys can see how all of these products worked for me okay so we're starting out with the hd soft focus liquid foundation i chose this one because it comes in more shades than the others there's 10 shades still is not great but it's better than a lot of their others i wanted to get the full coverage uh ulta foundation but they only had like three or four shades i don't know if they're discontinuing it or if they're restocking i'm not sure but that's all they had so i'm thinking with this one it actually may not have great coverage so that's why i got the powder foundation and it comes in a lot of shades Okay, so both the powder foundation and the liquid foundation are $14, um, but this comes in 20 shades. So it's very, very, wow, it's very highly rated. So hopefully it works out well and it adds some coverage for us. So yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to shake this up a bit. We'll start out with a brush. I may have to use a sponge, but you guys know going in with my collab brush and of course my body is a lot darker than my face and my neck it feels a bit oily to me i don't know how else to say that but it feels just a tad oily so i'm just gonna get this all over the face and then we'll blend it out with a sponge this is just a dry eco tool sponge but you can see it's not covering my redness well at all so it is my time of the month that is why my hair is up and we are in a hoodie today oh I am just hurting and I don't really feel like doing anything but really want to get this video up so we are doing it yeah the coverage is I wouldn't even say medium like building it up I would say it's medium coverage but if you didn't build it up I would actually say it is light coverage all right and here's what we we're looking like you can definitely still see my redness, my pigmentation, my freckles. So hopefully the powder does us good today because I definitely like more coverage, especially when I'm feeling a little bit like duty. All right, so now, oh, I forgot to tell you what shade I got. This is in medium warm. And then in the concealer, I've got medium neutral. I actually think this is gonna be a little bit too dark, 
but we will lighten it up if we need to. And we're just gonna put it on the under eye area. And then I'm just blending that out with the same sponge. And I know a lot of people really like this concealer. So hopefully this works out. Oh, has, oh, I have something in my eyeball. Oh no. Mm, no, it still brightened it up under there. Uh, Kimmy and I have developed a great friendship and we talk almost every day. So I absolutely just adore her and her doggies. She's got two doggies and her husband, of course but she's just an amazing, amazing human being. So it's hard to find girl friends, especially like for me anyway. So I hate that we live so far away. We pretty well live on different sides of the US, but we still talk pretty well every day. So it's nice having someone to talk to, you know, that likes the same things you do. And Let's see, this is the mineral setting powder from Ulta. So the concealer's pretty good. I wouldn't say that that was full coverage. Maybe if you use a brush, it would give you better coverage. But I would say it's a solid medium coverage. So mineral powder, and I'm gonna try to set this under eye. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I think the base is looking pretty good. I like this mineral powder as a setting powder as well. It added a little bit of coverage for us. Okay, I just wasted half of that mineral powder. All right, now let's try the adjustable coverage foundation. Wet or dry pressed powder. Looks like this, and I got the shade tan. Their shades are pretty messed up. Like, they're really messed up. So I'm going to try a brush first. And this is an e.l.f. brush. And I'm first going to pat it in to try not to mess up our base. And then I'll gently start to buff. And I have very, very light pressure. That totally, totally added coverage. I think I am really gonna like this powder. I had a phone call, but I wanna show you guys so you're not like, her face is eight shades darker than her body. Here's my arms. You can clearly see, like, it matches my face. It's just my face and my neck and sometimes my chest right here. And like, this is as light as I get ever. Like, super, super pale right now. In the summer, I'm like way darker and that's with sunblock and everything, but yeah. So, base looks really, really good. Surprisingly good. So, we are going to get into the next product, with the, which is the Ulta Beauty Just Face It Complete Face and Eye Palette. And it looks like this. So you've got cheek products over here, like blushes. Over here, you have bronzers and highlights, and then a bunch of eyeshadows. I'm going to take my e.l.f. complexion brush, and we're going to go into... Holy cow, this guy is big. We're gonna go into both of these bronzy shades here. I'm going to go in with the darker one first and almost do like a very, very light contour. So the only place that I didn't put the powder foundation was my forehead. And these are just the slightest bit powdery but I don't mind that as long as they blend well and it seems to be blending very, very nicely. That is my face right now. I've got something weird going on with it, but that is my face, <laughs> not the product, not blending well. So just, just don't, we're not, we're gonna stay on this side. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the warmer bronzer. We're gonna put it kind of just above that darker bronzer but that blended out beautifully it looks really really pretty and if you are super light complected super fair those may not work for you highlighter i'm going to i think i'm just going to mix both of the shades here 
and we'll see what we end up with. And we're gonna put that right on the tops of the cheekbones. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the darker one and then a little bit more of the lighter one. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. <clears throat> that is pretty, no one can deny that. That is super pretty. Wow. All right. So the darker one is much more gold and the lighter one is more champagne-y. Super pretty. I like both of these highlighters a lot. I really like them. But again, if you are fair, I don't think that these face shades will work for you at all. I think they're just going to be too dark. And then a little bit on the Cupid's bow. Oh yeah, super pretty. All right, and then blush. I think I'm gonna grab a little bit of this shade right here. And then if I want a little more glow, I'll go in with this guy up here. And this is an Ulta Beauty blush brush. I am so shocked at how pretty this is. And it just, everything's blending out and I really, really like it. Now for eyes. I can't really show you. Yeah, we're probably going to go with like these guys and this one over here. All right, so going in with our transition in the upper crease area and just going to blend this guy out. There's a definite pigment there for sure. So I am pleased with that. They're a little bit powdery, nothing super bad, but a little bit. I'm using all my same Morphe brushes. This is a Morphe M513. And I'm not gonna do anything crazy on the eyes. Just something more simple just to try these colors out. But I can say I'm liking this. And I, this is my first time trying Ulta Matte Shadows. I have a whole palette of like glitter or metallic shades and they were beautiful. I looked for that, I couldn't find it. I have misplaced it, but seriously, they are stunning. So I'm taking the Morphe M433 and I'm going to run this into the crease as well. And I'm not taking it all the way in, just stopping right about here. Everything has blended out beautifully. Like I'm, I don't wanna say I'm shocked, but they're working better than I even anticipated. Okay, so I'm going to take this shade right here and put that on the lid. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm totally shocked by that, you guys. Like, totally, totally shocked. I'm actually, I still have some on my fingers, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it over here. But wow, wow, oh my gosh, you guys. I am so pleasantly surprised. Just gonna take that last shade that we used there and just run it over that to blend it in. I'm gonna take the transition shades just like so. Nothing to no blah, 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 blah. nothing too hectic down there. I like to use the two darker shades. I am totally, totally loving this. Like I can't get over it. Cannot, I cannot get over it. 
Okay, I also have the Ulta Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in dark brown and the Ulta Beauty Limitless Lashes. Now, I cannot do my brows on camera, so I'm gonna go off camera, do my brows, I'll wait and use the mascara on camera, and I'll see you guys in just a second. So the eyebrow pencil was a little bit hard to work with because it's super duper creamy. Definitely still works, but um, it's not my favorite. So let's get on to mascara. So I like a regular traditional brush. I don't really like the rubber brushes. So let's see what we have going on here. It's super duper black, pretty voluminous. You can see from this side to this eye. I think it's pretty good. Like here's this eye and here is this eye. I am still, is that a black spot? Oh, so you can see it kind of fell right here. That's not good. Mm. I'm gonna wait, let that dry, hope that it comes off. So I'm going to throw on some falsies really quick. So the only thing in this whole video that I am using that is not Ulta brand are my lashes. And those are still drugstore. They are the Ilure 117s, the ones I pretty well always use. So while this is drying, we are going to go in with the Ulta Beauty Radiant Shine Lipstick in Prom Queen. Looks like this, has a little cap. Wait until you see this. I already swatched it because, wow. Like, what? Oh my gosh. Like, these are creamy as all get out. And I thought this was more berry colored than red. But on my lips, it is showing up red. <laughs> so... Okay, so this mascara totally flakes. It had already done it on this side, and it's doing it on this side now. All right, I'm going to try scraping it off. All right, we pretty well got it off. But yeah, the, the only dud in this whole scenario was the mascara. It flaked. You guys seen that? Not a fan. Lipstick, love the color, love the formula, love the way it feels. The only thing's the color with this look, clearly. Um, this palette is on sale right now for like $9. Definitely pick it up. Like, I cannot believe how good this was. Everything I used in this palette worked beautifully. I will say one of the highlighters has a little bit of glitter in it, but on the face i still think it looks gorgeous so i absolutely love this especially for a holiday collection which is normally not as good as everything else in the line like the two face palettes that i tried the little christmas tree looking ones trash this nine bucks awesome um this I absolutely love. I will start using this on top of other foundations to add coverage. It does not look heavy. It looks beautiful. The foundation I did like. Um, it's not as much coverage as I normally like, but with the powder on top, I really, really like it. And the shade was really good. I'd still recommend this. The concealer... I actually really liked it too. I don't think it's full coverage, but I think it's high medium coverage and I really like it. Didn't crease badly on me. Definitely like it. And the, let's see, mineral setting powder. Loved this. Like really, really good. Added coverage. Kind of blurred my pores out. And the brow pencil, um, I think is okay. It's not my favorite but it's not bad either. So out of literally an entire face of Ulta Beauty, we only had one dud and that was the mascara. So everything else I would recommend. I enjoyed, you guys seen how it applied, looks gorgeous, love it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you guys subscribe and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.